you know, it's kind of weird when I see it like that. Good morning, Interwebians. It is very, oh, it's warm in here today in the night in New York. And basically, it's just going over the last drips and drabs that we have with this apartment. There we go with again, drips and drabs. <laughs> And uh, now everything was just moved out properly. I said we got the little bits to do, so we got some of the computer stuff and just a bit of a clean up. Oh, I've got to take this down as well. Uh, all right. Come on, buddy. At this time, I don't mind the booze. So it's just sort of a couple of things. We had excellent help from my next door neighbor, who basically for the last leg of the journey, even taking a big ass freezer and stuff up those stairs was more than Excellent, and um, we told them that we we're gonna pay him back. So, definitely on my next page, I'm gonna take out 50 bucks and be like, right, there you are, and just give him something small. But uh, it's weird that everything is changing around here, so it's weird. So, I was talking with yesterday uh, the lady next door that with us had a beautiful dog who would sit outside the driveway in which we found out recently had passed away. They had to put it down, bless. But um, we found out kind of the reason why. I'm trying to walk around because I don't have, I, you know, I may just sit on the floor. My house until the end of the day, so I may as well just sit on the floor until we finish. So, Basically, I was talking to her yesterday just to find out the real reason why uh, a lot of this street or a lot of this part of the town was being bought up. Uh, it's because of uh, the government and stuff that this area in particular is considered a flood point or a flood hole in which a couple of years back they got hit very hard with floods and it was a lot of money just to compensate and stuff. Well, apparently the government doesn't like it when they put their money to use to help the people out and they turned around and said, if you get flood again, we're not gonna pay you. So they're buying out a lot of this area. So this is a buyout lot. So they're basically been going around to the people who own the houses and you know, landlording them out and such. And just basically saying, right, we're gonna give you this much. We just, we, you know, we don't want to pay you for flood problems and shit. So that's why we found out properly why uh, this place was gonna to be torn down. And you know, we were asked basically, guys, we gotta let you leave. I mean, that's the thing. We only knew about that now. Ish, well, the end of the month sort of thing and the real reason why this place was and I mean, honestly if they told us in the beginning to say hey you know what we've had word with the government and stuff they want to call this place off and I don't want to risk you know damaging not only the house but also you guys as well we're gonna have to sell it if they told us that then I would be more than happy with but basically being with that I was given an offer in which was a high enough that I couldn't refuse, so I'm thinking, screw it. All right, fair enough, the landlord is a sweet old guy as well, so I'm thinking, yeah, give him some, you know, money, so let him just rest easy and such. But it could have been good if they told us, like, at least two months in advance. Because this whole month of running back and forth looking for an apartment and 
sorting everything out at the last minute, it was bonkers. I didn't like it one bit. But the apartment we live in now, it's decent enough. We'll make it our own for the time being. Definitely want to stay there for more than two years if we can. But um, we'll sort that. We'll cross that bridge when we find a new place and stuff when it comes to it. In which we have put down that the next time we are going to move, it's going to be a bloody one floor. <laughs> going to do one floor because I'm not lugging everything up those bloody stairs again. No way. And secondly as well, we would hire a moving company as well. Because yesterday, if it weren't for our neighbour, we would not have done all of it in time and we would have been more dead than we are today. Looks like we're just going to hang up. That's it. We're basically done. It is a bit of a shame that we have to move and we have to start off somewhere else. And fair enough, it's a bit of a shit tip like that. We'll make it our own, we'll make it for a good while and then we'll find our ground and shit. We'll have to settle and definitely look for somewhere. Maybe one day get into the step of looking for a mortgage and for a house or something, just something decent, but right now it's what we have and what's happened as well. And uh, we should be fine, we're gonna be fine. fine guys. I think it's going on quite well, and uh, yeah, I have to say, honestly, it was just. Just finishing off the house before and handing the keys, you know, I sat in the car for like a minute or so and just, I just broke down. I was really upset of what happened because that's our first proper house together, like I said, and we had to move out and it's been taken away from us and it broke my heart. It really did. And I didn't like it one bit. I really didn't like it one bit. So, definitely we're going to stay here as long as we can after bloody two years or so and look at get into a, what to call it, an actual house, one story, no stairs, no bloody stairs. The only time I want to go up and down the stairs right now is when I do shopping and that's it. <laughs> so that's just oh. anyway it is going to be a quiet night tonight it's now 11 o'clock so that's fun so I'm going to call it a night tonight and try and see if I can just finish off a little bit of this house and then get some sleep if I can but uh, thank you guys for watching today's video I know it's been a bit of a <sighs> bit of a sad one but but if you enjoyed, don't forget, as always, to like and subscribe. And we shall see you tomorrow for a brand spanking new day. And hopefully it will be a little bit better than the rest as we move into this apartment more. So until then, take it easy, guys. I'll stop.